are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Um, I'm actually going to cut it in half. I'm going to melt some chocolate and um, put some sort of layers of chocolate, cook it lightly, um, serve it with some like apples. Um, so you're doing the pork juice. and chocolate thing? Um, yeah, like, yeah, sorry, it's okay. probably a bit obvious, but it's new to me and I just thought I'd give it a go and right. layer okay. it and stuff. Good luck, yeah. Thank Good luck. Gary, I've done some wacky shit in my time, right? I'm not going to say I haven't. All right, I've cooked some weird stuff, but can I tell you, pork and chocolate and croutons, fine Becky, line, isn't it? What, what, what's that all about? Look, we've got a few desserts. There's a few people taking Eggy a chance. Eggy bread, some people. Eggy bread, yeah. yeah. And that's our vegetarian, yeah, isn't it? You know, she's decided to do something different. You know who I'm worried about? Is Robert. He's gone... He's gone off, off a bit. He's gone. He's trying to do an apple chart, which is a classic sort of English French dessert. Dry bread. He's got chocolate in the pan. He's got apples in the pan. Yeah, I smell the chocolate was burnt as yeah. well. Oh. It's not going to eat well, and I think he may have stuffed this one up completely. Yeah. You have 10 minutes to go. So, Brent. He's been walking a fine line. He's managed to get through on each line. I wonder if there's any sweat in his dish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in control of my nerves right now. I'm, I'm really comfortable being here. I'm trying to do my pork well, and I actually used a char to char it, to finish it off, to give it an extra smoky flavour and a lift that might be... It'll be totally different for everybody else. Go. I'm worried about Aaron. He's been a bit clever, actually. Let's see if he can pull that off, you know? I was going to put something out there that was just, you know, visually exciting and also quite tasty as well. I was near Aaron and I decided to place myself next to him because I thought that, um, that he's got a different angle and he, he's probably relatively easy to psych. They're all competitors and we're all here for, for, uh, to win the title. You know, there's not 49 MasterChefs or 32 or 16, there's one. So, I mean, you've got to take it seriously. OK, guys, you've got two minutes. What the hell just happened there? My meat, I didn't know if it was cooked enough. I played it really, really super safe. One minute to go. So this is the one minute that could change your life, don't forget. If you're not putting things on your plate, you need to now. This is when it counts, yeah? You can prep for as many hours of a day as you can, but at the end of the day, this is when it counts, when it's on the plate, yeah? Make it happen. You've got 10 seconds to go. That's it, guys. Tools down. Put your pans down. Leave your plates alone. Time's up. Well done. Gina. Hi, George. What have you got? I have a lemon glaze, pan fried loin of pork on a bone. I was analysing what I should have done and what I would have not have done continuously. You, you've shredded the cabbage quite nice. Um, you've cooked the pork well. Being summer, I didn't cook my cabbage. I can see what you're trying to do. You're trying to impress us. Oh, no. you're, trying to you're trying to demonstrate that you can do different things. You know, this is shredded beautifully and finely. This is lovely. And you've caramelised the pork well. It takes some of our chefs years to learn that. The texture interplay between that, the apple on that one and the apple on the toffee apple is fantastic. 
those two things, that's really interesting, taking a single ingredient and changing the dynamics so they, they taste like two separate things. So, so that's very clever. I'm impressed by that. It's quite good. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Sarah, you're a vegetarian. Talk me through this. What, what have you got? I've made eggy bread. With, eggy bread? Yep. Gary loves eggy bread. With caramelised apples. Yeah, With a bit of lemon yep. just to cut through the sweetness. It's definitely sweet. There's probably a tad too much sugar for me. There's a lot of sugar in here, isn't there? Yeah. You can see. I hope you like your sugar. <laughs> but it's almost toffee. It's almost toffee-like. Look, I'm pleased you didn't cook pork. I'm pleased that you used apples and the eggs. Good effort. Right, thank you. Mm. So on the menu, that's going to read pork sandwich with chocolate, is it? No, pork medallions. So pork medallions with chocolate. I came up with this because I imagine the flavours. I don't eat pork regularly, but I have had it, and I imagined, like, the nice velvety dark chocolate with the white meat would have gone quite well. I've got a good imagination. That's still a bit sweet and so you do get that sense of like biting into picking a chocolate out of your selection box and it's not filled with and orange that, cream and it's filled with you know yeah, crunchy that pork. take your fancy to um, like pick it pork chocolate out let me, of the let, me, box. let me think about that for about uh, <laughs> half a second and go no probably not. Um, <laughs> if we were sitting in a restaurant and that, and that comes up you know there would be one in a hundred diners who would go you are a genius but there'd be about 85 diners would run screaming from the door going, oh my god, I can't get it, I can't get it, because it's such a, it's quite a radical idea. That's great. If you'd had the confidence to do that, and we'd be going, you're a genius. Lucas, could you use that as a little, little putter? You would struggle. It's very petite. <laughs> Absolutely on the money. You look disappointed. I am. It's unfortunate. Yeah, you've really undercooked it. You spun some sugar? That's a fantastic thing, yeah? Andre? Talk to You good? What do you got in there? Um, you've made a pocket, yeah? I did make a pocket, yeah. Um, I think that I've slightly overused some of the flavours in there because I, I don't think I should have... Uh, sort of like a salsina on top, but I don't Are you telling me that you've overused it? or uh, I, I believe... Because you're creating an image in my head yeah, now, yeah? OK, OK. Well, um... You can try and bullshit me if you like, you know what I mean? Don't have yeah, to always... Yeah, you know... but I'm not... I, you know, OK. I, yeah. OK. okay. <laughs> How do you think it compares to Andre's next door? Very different? Um, two different yeah, dishes? Yeah, it's, it's a different dish. I mean, if, if I had to compare it, I'd say this is a more sort of French traditional style. Something like, like classic pairings as opposed to an Italian themed dish. Mm. It was a bit interesting. I mean, I've never really been in that situation. And you're also careful, you don't want to tread on these toes and say, oh, yeah, this dish was crap. Yeah, so what something. do you think, Andre? That looks dry. But it isn't dry. You know, it's it's not bad. Yeah. Andre thought it was dry and probably got put back in his place by Gary, who said no, it was very moist. Po. Yes. Where's your dish? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where is it? What happened, Po? Where are you? Is this like a little course from a degustation? Or? Um. No. Um, I just knew that I was limited in terms of time with yep. mincing the pork. So you mince the pork, yep. you've got egg in there, yep. tomatoes, and you've sort of cooked it in a bain-marie, yeah? yep. so to speak. Yep. And then I made some uh, pork fat croutons, which are quite heavily salted and mm. peppered. I like the, the croutons. I could just have a big bowl of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? In front of the television. Interesting. Really interesting. Robert. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm pretty nervous, actually. So what have you done, mate? I've attempted an apple charlotte, even though I've never... Apple charlotte, yeah. ...never read the recipe or practised it. I uh, just thought what I've seen on TV, I could maybe put it together and create something like that. Apple, caramelised apple. I thought, you know, um, may as well take a risk. I thought everyone else would be doing the pork. I just thought I'd go for it. 
pretty speechless. Uh, I got the shortest review out of anyone there, I think. You think it was a wise thing to do? Just absolutely devastated that I've been so stupid. I want to prove to myself that I can pursue things if my heart really lies there, you know? Give me three other things you could have done just now, off the top of your head. Three other things you could have done that would better than this. My first opinion was to cut the apples into wedges, layer them out, um, caramelise them, but not with too much uh, sugar, um, do the pork, and then make a mayonnaise with the egg, the olive oil, the egg yolk. OK, just stop there, because you've, you've answered a big question, but you've also... I think everyone here will sit around and go, why didn't you do that, dude? Because that's a crazy, crazy thing to do. Yeah. Josh, finally, you know, you're starting to really think about what you're doing. It looks quite pretty, doesn't it? But pork is one of those things that I'm finding hard to imagine on a bruschetta, you know? Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more, but uh, the ingredients were there and I thought I'd give it a go. Seems to work. So you're going to put it on one of your menus? I'm pleased, I'm pleased you've done something different. Yeah. Brent. Chef. Explain to me, you've got pork chop, you've got apples, you stewed that look. Is that right? Correct. Tad sweet. How did you cook the apple? Water and sugar in the pan. There's something else in there. It's like butane or something. It's butane. A trick for young players, I guess. Yeah. Right. When it got unceremoniously um, dropped on the side of my plate after being rolled around, a, you know, one of Australia's finest food critics' mouths. Um... Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's horrid. Yep. Pretty disheartening, and I just thought I've worked so hard so far. I'm exhausted, uh, and I felt I may have failed another challenge, and this was the big one. 